first I thought that this would be like all the other outbreaks. You know, in a rural area, small town, and uh, come under control after a couple of months. But I was wrong, and I was particularly starting to get very concerned in, uh, in June and early July when three countries were affected, uh, the capitals, and I said, boy, this is different. Because uh, you can contain small uh, Ebola outbreaks by, you know, isolating the patients, giving them care, uh, quarantining all the, uh, the contacts. But, uh, you know, you can do that in a small uh, town or so, but at the scale of a whole country, that's far more difficult. And even when this epidemic will be over, the impact of it is going to be tremendous. Orphans left, societies uh, really uh, completely uh, dismantled in a sense, the economy uh, will go, have gone down and, and health services uh, not functioning. Canada has been a pioneer in research on this, let's not forget that. The uh, public health laboratories in, uh, in Winnipeg really is a world leader in research and um, maybe the vaccine that will stop this epidemic will be a Canadian vaccine. Um, but I think Canada can also do more now, uh, just as other countries, uh, by sending people on the ground. There is also a mobile laboratory from Canada. And I'd like to really pay tribute to the Canadian Public Health Service. This is uh, uh, really uh, unusual because all the other research was Department of Defense in, in the US and in Canada it was really considered as a, a public health priority, even if it was a, a rare disease. The research in Canada and Winnipeg was uh, going on in the background without uh, really a sp the spectacular type of epidemic, but there were always outbreaks and Canada has continued to do this. But now the key is that we are not making the same mistake as with previous epidemics. And that is once the attention is uh, gone, media attention and uh, the last patient has uh, survived or died, um, that we, you know, we say, okay, it's, it's finished and we, we can put all the whatever we've discovered on the shelf. Now we have to push through um, the full development of these drugs of these uh, vaccines um, because the next time it may be even worse.